Happy Friday. Happy Friday. One of life's many unanswered questions. Whoa. It's good, isn't it? That's the niche. <laughs> you could have said anything. Oh, I did buy a few things. She's going to be so ready for winter. Good morning. This looks great. Look at all the um, condiments. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Also, the amount of drinks we got. Yeah. Because I got three drinks, orange juice, apple juice, and a coffee. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's just. <laughs> I'll be that bacon. Crispy bacon. <laughs> Can't explain. Look at it. Look how many rashes they give you too. How many you is that? Three. Extra bacon. I think bacon that's it. probably enough for me. Oh. That looks so good. And then the beans. Beans on the side. Bread. Oh man, that's just the dream, isn't it? That's what we came for. A couple of little croissants in there too. Mm. Happy Friday. I didn't order those, did you? I ordered the bread, so it must have come with that. Nice. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Christmas Day if it was Vlogmas. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yo, we would be finished, we wouldn't be filming. <laughs> we don't film Christmas. This is officially the longest. You've ever vlogged? Yeah. But I still feel half asleep. Yeah, so do I. This is why I'm only filming you and the breakfast. But this looks fantastic. We're ready. Well, I'm ready. Alfie's just getting ready to leave our hotel room. It was a very swift visit, but it's been so nice. I actually, Alfie said just now he went to the gym again uh, and I had another bath. It's better, but you look like you're going to play a sport. Is that the vibe? Well, they're all gym clothes, aren't they? I just want to be like... Cool cash got. driving home. Well, that is exactly what we're doing, driving home. But also when we get home, we're organising. We're organising. We've had a really nice time. Uh, Alfie said this morning as he was leaving to go to the gym again, I actually did have another bath this morning. It was so good yesterday. I had another one. He was like, you've not actually left the hotel room yet. You came in and you've not gone anywhere. And I was like, nope. And I am more than happy with that. We are going to have a little look around. Just a little walk around the grounds before we leave. But I also, for some reason, have woken up feeling more ill. Which doesn't make any sense because I'm like... I was feeling pretty good. <laughs> and now I'm like, am I getting ill again? Is this the same illness? What's happened? Um, but yeah, we're packing you, up. It's when we take the foot. I know. We take your foot off the gas. I refuse to believe it. Your body then relaxes and then... And you then get, you get more ill. You get got. No, I refuse. How much of your books did you read? Do you actually want to know? Yeah. I'll probably pack them away. Okay, so this book. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Didn't open it. Okay. <laughs> I'm still on page 31 and have been for about four months. And that's enough for you to say you love it? Yeah. Okay. This book, love it as well. Yeah. I started it a while ago. Yeah. You didn't really ask this, did you, for like the in-depth? No, but I'm enjoying it. I, uh, I started it a while ago, went to carry on reading it last night after editing the blog, never turned the corner of the top of any of them, so I didn't know where I was. Oh. So I restarted it again last night. Oh! Currently on page 10. So you read 10 pages? Well, let's see what page it starts on. Oh. No, it does start on page 1. So you read 10 pages? I read 9, because I'm on page 10. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Considering I stayed up editing the blog. Yeah, that's good. And I've hit the gym twice. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Well done. I, I was really expecting you were going to say nothing. No, being serious, I do actually really want to read that. That book is a banger. What, what's it called? Icky... Icky guy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nice. It's basically a Japanese proverb. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today. We've got sun. Look at the beautiful outside. We're gonna oh, go... I booked us in, I forgot. Afterwards. Huh? For what? When I was walking back to Snowbuck from the gym. I booked us in for a game of pickleball. No, you didn't. It's in like 20 minutes. Pickleball, what's that? Yeah, pickleball. What's pickleball? <laughs> Let's check out That's cool. what it's obviously the hotel logo is a plane isn't it oh yeah right goodbye room thanks for having us thanks i'm sure we'll be back stay. farewell hopefully be back soon <laughs> 
Let's go. Do you remember the way way out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you it... haven't been out yet. No. <laughs> You go first, try and find your way out. Okay, I know we came down the stairs. Okay, then I reckon Which this way. way. Then I reckon down these stairs. Oh, there is a sign that says reception. I guess we followed that. Up. Or did we? Oh, I didn't go that way. I'll show you oh. the way I've been going. It's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we did come back up this way. Quiet, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know where we are yet? No. <laughs> the camera the couldn't back. be closer to your face. Oh, I know. Do you know where oh, we are? Oh, yes, yes. Then we just turn here. Oh, that's quite quick, actually. Just popping out here and then walking up to the gym. Oh, yeah, that's quite quick. It's so nice. It is so lovely, isn't it? I just like that sound. Water. Yeah, the little fountain, yeah, and then there's the house. We're gonna get some work done on our garden in the next couple of years. Yeah, that's the plan. I think we do need to get some yeah. water feature put in somewhere. It would be nice. Right, we are driving home, and on the way here, Alfie and I thought of something that Ashton I'd never really thought of before, but the headrest behind your head when you're driving is your head supposed to rest against it when you're driving because as the passenger my head is always you know my head's always on this but as a driver yeah I always rest my head do you not as a passenger you do you fall asleep within like 20 minutes yeah, of any car journey so I've tried looking in everyone else's cars and I would say 70 to 80 percent of people do not have their head touching the headrest whilst driving whilst driving but some do and i don't know what the correct thing is like I, I don't know whether she did she had her head on the headrest like this but she's more upright so i'm like obviously you can't like lay back with your head no but then maybe my seat needs to be adjusted to be but that's right what i'm right. saying like is the point that you are supposed to rest your head therefore you need to adjust your seat so that that's comfortable or is that not like ergonomically correct with like how we are as humans and our like skeletal structure is that just like impossible to do are we always going to have our head away from the headrest when we drive because i I don't think I rest my head on the headrest when I'm driving. I don't think. Maybe in the Mini I do. I'm not in the Tesla. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm like questioning everything. I'm like, what? Is there anyone out there who knows? <laughs> Are you supposed to? Is your posture whilst you're driving meant to have your head against the headrest? I don't know. But I would honestly say most cars around me, that's not happening. No one has their head really on the headrest, apart from the odd person here or there, who's like, you know, probably into quite a long car journey. And they're like, like his is on the headrest. His was on the headrest. Yeah, his was not. <laughs> But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. What's good for your posture? Like, what have car designers designed it for? To rest your head on or just... Don't know. <laughs> One of life's many unanswered questions. I'm sure someone has an answer. Drinks. We've done a little Starbucks um, pit order, stop. pit stop, <laughs> before we head home and start organising. And guys, they had so many new drinks on the menu. I was a bit like... Can you explain what the plan is today? I briefly said we're doing some organising and sorting. Yeah, my parents have got Otty. Yeah. So we can... So we're making the most. The house yeah. So yeah, plan is get home, heads down, organise. But we were like, we need some fuel for that. So we stopped at Starbucks. What was yours? Oh, yours was... A... Clotted, Clotted cream, cream fudge, fudge cold brew. Cold brew. Do you want to try and yours I'm a first? I'm a big cold brew fan. 
I don't think I've ever had a cold brew. Let me just pop this one over here so there's even. Balance. I don't think I've ever had a cold brew from Starbucks before. And this has got fudge and clotted cream. Clotted cream. I feel like the guy serving you wasn't sure. Whoa, that's good. Is it? You can have a tiny go. I'll have a little sip. A little, just a little go. Considering that's like a cold brew, I feel like you'd like that. Oh, I like that. Good, isn't it? What does it they taste like without clotted version. cream fudge, though? So a cold brew is like oh pretty my God, strong. That's... Pretty like... Yeah. Cold brew is kind <laughs> of like... Imagine like cafetiere, like my parents And then make, put in the fridge. And then you just let it like sit, yeah. So imagine like one of my brew bags Leaving your tea bag. in water. Yeah. And then you put it in the fridge for like eight hours. Okay. That's basically That is quite brew. strong. But I do think the clotted cream fudge is like milking it down. That's nice. Very good. Then. I think I prefer that to like the normal Starbucks coffee. I would get really? that over like a latte here, yeah. Then they had this. I mean, probably because it's got clotted cream. <laughs> And, probably the, and fudge, the cream on probably the top. swaying it a little bit. Um, and then this one was a strawberry waffle cone cream frappuccino. Strawberry waffle Just, cone. I feel like it's going to be on. Let's have some of this. And then, in true like Zoe and Alfie style, we couldn't just get two drinks, guys. So then I was like, oh, they've got Cool Lime Refresher on the menu. Cool Lime Refresher is something that I feel like is always available in America, mm -hmm. right? It's not always available here. No, I think it is now. It I think is it's now. just not on the menu. Oh. I think. But it then, never used to be. Starbucks Sally said, do you want it to taste like a non-alcoholic mojito? Because I can add mint to that. And I was like, uh, yeah. And then she was like, and do you want it to be more of a... Slush puppy. Slushy. Like and I was like, uh, blended. yeah. So she blended it and added a couple of, well, three pumps of Whoa. peppermint syrup. So I'm excited to try that too. This, the original of this, the non-like adapted version, is like a massive throwback to like VidCon days. Yeah, I was gonna say, it reminds this me of you and Marcus. literally what Marcus and I drank non-stop when we were at all of like the meet and greet events back in America years and years ago. Is it good? I feel like that's just you summed up. So Starbucks used to have, I don't know if they still have it. I don't think they do. It was called strawberries and cream frappuccino. Mm -hmm. That's what this is basically. I think they might still do it. I think they still do a lot of those drinks, but they're just not like on the menu because it's not new and exciting and like, do you know what I mean? Whoa, it's thick. Oh, that is so good. That was always my go-to Starbucks Whoa. drink. The strawberries and cream frap. It does taste like the strawberries and cream frap, doesn't it? I can't yeah. taste the like waffliness. I don't know where the waffle comes into it. The waffle cone. Do you know what that tastes like? Mm. Straw. Yeah, I, I can taste the cone. Can you? I think the cone Maybe might I be on the top Maybe I need some of there. the stuff off the top. Yeah, it tastes to me exactly like the really strong bit of a strawberry cornetto mm. when you hit a lot of strawberry. Anyway, that's a 10-10 from me. Should we try this one? Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued I also by got this. The classic oatmeal. You love that from here. Love it so much. Sally knows me so well to know that a non-alcoholic mojito is always my drink of choice if we go anywhere. Oh, that is so much stronger than I thought. She was like, this is going to be really refreshing. Also, oh my God, that is so good. I feel like for the last two days in the vlogs, if I've spoken less and my mouth has been moving weird, I've got four ulcers on one side. In a row. Just a heads up. So if you see me speaking less, etc. That'll be nice on it. Oh. oh. If I had that in my first trimester, Whoa. It's good, isn't it? That is so good. There you go, guys. Ask for a cool lime refresher with three shots of peppermint and get it blended. That's like a 
non-alcoholic mojito slush puppy. I think that's my favorite one. It's so good. Let's get home. I can't get over how good this is. And then let's lay down. Because I also normally I'm joking. Usually... No, we're not laying down. I mean, you can. No, you it's can. fine. I just want to, we've got time. It's <laughs> currently 20 to two in the afternoon. We've got all day and all evening to just slowly do as much as possible. Yeah, that, and that's quite nice to know we've d we can do that. Mm -hmm. And it's also all prepping. My mum is gonna come around and help too. Which will be really helpful. Yeah. Zoe's mum is My mum like is like level of... a Duracell bunny version of me. <laughs> so she knows my brain. But she knows what I would do. It's impossible for the Duracell battery to run out. My, like, I don't think, my mum has the energy. I've never seen your mum like, just go, oh, I'm just a bit tired, ever. My mum has the energy of a 15 year old, like, girl who loves PE. <laughs> That's the niche. <laughs> you could have said anything. No, but you know what I mean? Like that, that girl in school girl, who's like, she is, she loves PE. <laughs> She's like ready and raring to go in every P lesson. I don't know that girl. Okay, my mum runs marathons, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Your mum's run, <laughs> your mum's run three marathons. Yeah. That's much uh, better. If I say to my mum, oh yeah, I need to like tidy that pile, she knows. Do you know what I mean? I never have to, like, it's like she's an extension of my brain. Yeah. But has way more energy than me. <laughs> So it's like when when I'm when I don't have the energy, it's amazing because it's like mum is my replacement. When... And it's amazing when you do have the energy. <laughs> yeah. It's just amazing. She's unbelievably helpful. She is so helpful. And she's also very good at tidying and arranging. Basically, she's coming over this afternoon to help us. And also, I think it's good to have an external person when you're trying to organise because you need that person that goes. Guys, are you sure you need that? Guys, are you sure you want to put that there? Yeah, that is true. And also, everything we're arranging this afternoon is prepping for, for our Otty life to with change two kids. room and then the new baby to change into Otty's room. Yes, yeah, so we do. So it's need not to just be... like, oh, we're just re rearranging our kitchen. This is like, no, no. The countdown to the baby <laughs> is going to be here, is, is happening. Yes. And we've got to. Sort our, sort our house out. House out. <laughs> Why did I just repeat you? No, I think I repeated you. Oh, did you? Like a little parrot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's right, go. should we head? Yeah. Uh, do you know what I think we're doing? <laughs> we're just delaying. <laughs> I'm driving. We're stalling. We're like, should we go? Yeah. Should we just finish our drinks? Yeah. No, I'm moving. Should we just I'm go going. now? Okay. All right. This camera's gonna fly off. Got back, and there's a really exciting package that I am. Um, desperate to open. So I placed this order the other day when I was mm -hmm. at your mum's, when you were at the coffee right, thing. Right, coffee festival. Yeah. I did get a little excited. I did tell you about it, do you remember? No. So this, this brand oh. is an Australian brand. Is it knitwear? Yes. Mm -hmm. We bought a couple of bits from here for Otty when do she was Do you need some small. scissors? No, I'm good. Because I can just pull this out. I mean you're a bit too excited. <laughs> so the company name is Ziggy Lou and there's still some of my, you're not really in it are you? Mm. Is that eating your I'm just eating. Oh, is that intentional? Yeah, I was about to eat. Okay. No one wants to see me just chewing okay. away at a chicken wrap. <laughs> um, so there's still some of my favourite bits that we, my extensions, look at these, I need to get these moved, don't worry I've got, I've got a day booked in. <laughs> They're like sticking out everywhere. There's still some of my favourite bits that we got with Otty. However, a lot of the wintry bits that I bought for Otty are aged three to six months or zero to, uh, they're slightly bigger because obviously mm -hmm. when Otty was born, it wasn't as cold. It wasn't as cold. Whereas this baby will be coming into like newborn cold. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to get some like even smaller bits. We still have all the bits we um, used for Otty, but Alfie hasn't actually seen what I ordered. So I quite wanted to show you. I feel like you've gone in hard. I went Anything in. that is this big and is full of newborn clothes, that is a lot of newborn clothes. I went in hard. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god, Alfie. Stop. It's so tiny. Like my brain can't comprehend how how she's going to fit in that. Oh my god.
my gosh. So I think I just got all newborn. So and Just cute. a big nappy bum as well. And then I think this is a little jumper that goes, oh, this is a little, oh my gosh. This is like long. <laughs> <laughs> obviously the tummy and the nappy fill it out a bit and then that's the little bodysuit that goes with the that's leggings that's just the cutest thing i've ever seen isn't it it's just made so nice. i was about to say how how are these made oh, the quality is so oh, yeah. nice then we've got I'm just, I'm just okay oh look at that it's so cute i love the color Okay, and then some more little trousers. Little stripy knitted ones. Oh, I did buy a few things. Little jumper. Oh, so diddy and cute. I think this is a blanket. How nice is that? Little like pink. It's like a very like beige pink, which I really liked. Um, with like little holes it all like matches so uh, this jumper goes with the leggings yes so that goes with that adorable oh my gosh you know when something just arrives and it's like even better quality than you thought it yeah. would be oh i got the little boots <sighs> alfie little booties I would wear that in my size. I know, it's nice, 100%. isn't it? 100%. Do they do adults? Ziggy Lou. I think they do. If you don't already do adults, I think you are do. missing a trick, because I Gorgeous. would love to wear this and match my daughter. The little boots. Oh, they go Lord. with the... <laughs> oh, here's the hat. The tiny hat, like the bobble is gonna be as big as her head. But I just love that. Do you know what I mean? Like a newborn wearing that. <laughs> She's gonna be so ready for winter. Oh, there's another little hat. This goes with the jumper and the leggings. <laughs> this is all just too cute. Isn't it? Can you see how I got oh, carried yes. away? Oh, for sure. But also, this is the sort of stuff when we're done having kids, we can like pass on to like friends or family. Do you know what I mean? Like it's Definitely. such nice quality. Or even, this is like memory box stuff, and then Ottilie gives it to her daughter. Oh, Imagine. Look at this one. Yeah, like that's romper. weird saying Ottilie giving it to her daughter. Imagine when we're grandparents. Oh my god. That's going to be, okay. Let's oh, I not don't want to wish time that's not, away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too far away. I don't like to think of that. <laughs> we're just going to have two girls. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> you know. That's so mad. I heard somebody say yesterday, saying, oh yeah, my, the boys, and I was like, soon we're just going to be saying the girls. The girls. And I already do referencing you and Otty, but... And Nala. And Nala. <laughs> oh, who's going to go get the girls? That's quite nice and easy, isn't it? I like that. The girls. The girls. Do you want to pass me that and I'll put all this in there? Did you like those bits? Very lovely. Oh, look at the, even the shape of that. Like, we could bring her home in that from the hospital. Yeah. That's like super tiny. Maybe newborn. we should do that. Yeah, with that these. Is so cute. That's like her coming home outfit. We're going to have to wrap her up so much yes. in December. This, this, the boots, and the little hat. Her first little outfit. It's going to be so cute. And the blanket. I feel like we need to, like, somebody needs to save a clip of this of us saying like just how small these pieces are and then it cuts to like her wearing them. Or then it cuts to her being like four. And then they don't fit anymore. I just really like the colour. It's like peachy beige, peachy pink beige. Yeah, there's a bit like yeah. the beigey tone in there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I have a little nap. No, that's not part of the plan. A little nap, read a couple more pages of my book. Lovely. That's not the plan. I just remembered. What? I meant to play golf this afternoon. With myself. I booked it in with myself. <laughs> Come on. Right, we're gonna start. I'm having a little break. <laughs> we're in the up upstairs, which we don't often show very much because it's honestly like an attic. 
like at this point we just use it as a bit of a dumping ground i'm not gonna lie to you this isn't flattering <laughs> and so i can't even bring myself to do it before and after there's just stuff everywhere this room's not so bad this room is actually pretty clear we've got some furniture bits that we want to put on facebook marketplace and I've got a pile of things I'd love to put on Vinted. And then we've made a big bag to go to charity. So I feel like the sorting is going well. Um, and we are making space, which is great because I feel like you can't organize unless there's space. Otherwise we're just moving things from place to place. But it's going well, isn't it? It's going. It's going well. You don't realise how much stuff just accumulates and I think us having Ottie just made everything like quadruple <laughs> because there's like um there's like play mats and jungle gyms and um what are those walkers and like all things like that that we never actually dismantled properly we just thought let's put it upstairs we'll have another kid at some point so like we don't have to think about it until then now then is this moment <laughs> and we're like oh my god there's just so many things which is great because so much of it we can reuse with this baby and really there's not that much we have to repurchase at all but it has just meant that we've used up here as like baby storage um and the clothes there's just so many clothes but when i'm going through them i'm like i can put this on the next baby i can put this on the next baby but then i go and do a ziggy loo haul and i've got more <laughs> So I am, I am being quite good. I'm getting rid of a lot of baby things. I'm like, no, I don't think we'll put this on the new baby or no. Otty didn't really wear that very much or that was kind of impractical or seasonally that doesn't work with this baby. That That is one thing now that we can take into account is like, will she be able to wear that at the age that she's gonna be when Otty wore it? And actually for a few things, for a few things that does work, but for quite a lot of things that actually doesn't work. So we can now like, get rid of that stuff too but it just takes time doesn't it, it just takes a long time <laughs> but there is nothing more satisfying than having a good sort out so even though it's like baby steps we're getting there and i like that <laughs> i think i've recharged have i recharged <laughs> i think i have good evening everybody it is as you can see now much later we managed to get so much done like i'm actually so happy with how much organizing and sorting we did in the time we had it has made me very tired so we're now doing that thing where we lie here and we're like what should we watch and then we just actually just we just scroll all the options but don't actually pick something to watch does anyone else do that I feel like we do that a lot, <laughs> especially now we've both finished Wolf. Alfie actually did finish Wolf the other night. Did you think it was good? It was even better than what I thought it'd be. Yeah, like it was ending, good. Yeah. It was because I was so confused as to how the stories were going to tie up. And yes, because there's two like, stories really. How is this? I don't understand right into the end. Sometimes when you're watching something like that, you have like a little inkling of like, oh, maybe this could be happening. I was literally clueless until. The last step. Yeah, until the last step, I was like, I literally don't know what's gonna happen. I think that's why I loved it. I love when things are not as predictable and actually make you go, oh my God. And also I love that so many of you have watched it and also really enjoyed it. Do you know, I was thinking the other day, what? I was gonna say, we need something new. If anybody- Yeah, let us know. got any suggestions of any TV shows on any platforms, let us know. Cause we're, yes, we're, in, the, we're, in, we're in the lookout for something new. Including, who are your favorite youtubers to watch because i was saying to alfie the other day i feel like i just need some new people some like new chilled kind of vloggy style people to watch i would love to know who else you watch on youtube and i was thinking this the other day i do love this question i'm gonna ask it to you as well is there anyone you wish still uploaded that doesn't upload anymore mm that's a good one because the other day i got a real craving to watch <laughs> a new video from tarn 
and I was like, oh, she doesn't upload anymore. Um, but I really wanted to watch like just a Tanya vlog. I mean, I can just catch up with her in real life, you know what God, I mean? It's been but four years. Since I know, time last but time goes so quick. To me, it feels like it was four only last years. year. I thought it was going to be about two years. Yeah. Four years. Yeah. Oh. And it really made me think like so many people that did YouTube, I feel like don't do it anymore or like have stopped on like a certain channel or I don't know and then I just thought is there anyone that you're ever like oh I wish this person still uploaded or I wish they would just upload a video I don't know that's um, a good question is there anyone you wish still uploaded like proper like classic back in the day kind of content I don't know if I'd enjoy that kind of content anymore. No, like okay, maybe I, not that content, but them as a person. That, like, live in the countryside in the woods and like build yeah. huts and renovation channels. And I still watch a lot of YouTubers, but just different, different styles of videos. Different content, yeah. But would, who would I watch that I'd love to watch from back in the day? Um, oh, that's a trick. I don't know. Isn't it? It's a hard question. I'm looking at my subscriptions now. You'd have to scroll so far back because when I'm looking at people that subscribe to. Oh, got you. People that haven't uploaded will be at the bottom, right? I don't think he ever did vlog like this at all, like ever. But I'd love to see a daily vlog from Troy. Oh yeah, Troy Just would be great. He, he never did daily vlogs. When was the last video fun. Troy uploaded? He uploads a bunch actually, he uploads like two or three times a day. Does he do his music? music? Yeah. Who else? I love looking yeah, through Yeah, he did your... a vlog two years ago. Aww. Yeah, that was probably during lockdown. You're not subscribed to that many people. No, I'm not subscribed to Wow, you've got such a tailored subscription list. Anyway, those are your two questions. Who else do you watch on YouTube? Is there anyone you really wish still uploaded or that uploaded that you'd love to upload a random video and you'd be like, oh my God, this person's back in my subscription box. I'd love to know. And on that note, I'm gonna leave it there. I am I sound so bunged up right now. Somebody commented saying, I think your voice is getting deeper. And I was like, no, I think that's, I think that's just my cold. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will see you tomorrow for a very party prep heavy day again. <laughs> Let's just see how much we can do. But I'm kind of excited about it. I think it will be really fun. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Good night.